this week on My Alaska Dream. Uh, we're gonna split some wood today. Uh, uh, some friends of ours at Split Fire, they loaned us a, a uh, wood splitter that's an attachment for the tractor. So we're gonna hook that up today. We're gonna take, we gotta take the backhoe off. So we'll go through taking the backhoe off. Uh, we'll get the wood splitter hooked up and then we'll get to splitting some wood. So uh, let's, get, let's get to it. So we'll go over a couple of things real quick before we get this going. Uh, so there's a, a long rail system that just fits into this little bracket here that's mounted to the frame. Now that's uh, what holds your the backhoe up in position. And then we'll go to the back and there's two pins that hold it completely in position. So there's there's one bracket here that holds the front section and then the, the rear section is back here by a three point heart or three point hitch. So this is where the rear of the uh, the backhoe is connected to the tractor and then you've got these two pins one on each side and you just you got to get the pressure off these pins and then you just pull the pins out and, and then just drive away and so once you pull the pins out you uh you just get all the pressure off of it and and uh drive out a little bit disconnect your harness and then you're uh, you're free to go hook up your next attachment Well, that's it. So here's the pins. As you can see, that's this is where the this rear cross member rests in there, and uh, that's what holds the rear of the tractor up. And then up front here, this little bracket right here, that's what holds the front of the tractor up. So it didn't take me long to figure out that I was going to use that arm that is, is for picking up logs as a, uh, a little stand and I was going to bring over three or four rounds and stick it on top of there and, and then uh, go get me a bucket from Home Depot so I could sit down and take a load off and uh, split some wood that way. It kind of really saves you uh, the uh, getting up and down every time to go get a get around so you can start splitting and uh, you're not bending over all the time as well so uh, I really enjoyed that about this
the splitter on that thing it, it goes both ways so you can split wood in, in both directions uh, that's a really cool feature that this has uh, we're going to do another uh, video on this in a, in a couple months uh, I, I wanted to run this through the paces and, and take some notes and, and tell you exactly what I like and, and maybe some things that they could make improvements on so uh, just look, look for that video in, in, a, in a couple months I had to go put my jacket on and my hat because it was raining pretty good, but now it's just sprinkling again, so I've downgraded. I got half of this little pile, this little pile split already. Uh, I got more wood over there to split. Then I got I got a bunch of stuff to split over on the other side. And there's a there's uh, some more stuff over here that we got to split as well. Then some upcoming videos. Basically, these three trees and everything on um, this side of the cabin is going to be taken down so all that stuff's going to get split as well anyways let's get let's get back to work when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Alright, so uh, that's my first little section of split. Uh, the first impression of this thing is I, I love it. It's super easy to use. I mean, for the first two years, we split everything with the mall. That super sucked. Uh, and then our neighbors, Craig and Millie, they loaned us their wood splitter, but it was like from the 80s and it was better than the mall, but it wasn't the best. Uh, and now uh, we got this thing and man, Dude, it's so much. I was thinking the 
but because uh, the other one had its own hydraulic system in it and it, and it was gas powered and everything that maybe it would it would move the, the blade back and forth faster but that really wasn't the case it's it's pretty much the same but it all depends on rpms what you bring the tractor up to uh, uh, is how fast this thing will go back and forth as well uh, I think I was running it at just 1700 rpms like I was saying earlier all these trees are going I don't really have a place to put this just yet, so I'm just gonna put them on the pallets that they came off of. Um, and then once we get these trees down, we may have a, a uh, another little section for uh, some of our split wood. But right now, I know, trust me, I hate moving stuff twice, but um, I really don't know where to put it right now. So I'm gonna just put it back on this. Uh, we'll cover it up with the tarp. And then um, when we get these other trees down, We'll, um, we'll uh, probably get it over there in one of the corners over here of where one of our little trails go back there. All right, there you go. We got the majority of it stacked up. Uh, I had just a little bit left over, so uh, I had an empty pallet on the other side. I brought that other stuff over to the other side and stacked it up over there. So we're going to cover this with the tarp, and that's it for today. Uh, we're going to do another video on this like a little later on, but... Um, I just wanted to get this thing tested out and and see how it works with the tractor and everything But so far dude, I love it. All right, so we got some wood split today We'll split some more tomorrow, but I, I wanted to I don't want to leave the backhoe out here It's a big pain to take it on and off, but it is what it is I maybe I'll take it off back there, but it's easier to take it off on even ground So that's why I've been coming out here um, but uh, we'll we'll go through the steps on how to get the backhoe back on and and um, go from there. All right, so there's one thing about taking this off that I that I failed to mention until after I started pulling away is that is uh, you have to lift it, lift the uh, you got to put your outriggers down and then get the tension off of it, get the pressure off of this back plate. Uh, but when you pull forward, because the front is level with the back, you have to take the uh, and lower the downrigger so you can pull the tractor out from under it. Um, so what we got to do now is hook up the hydraulics, lift it up a little bit so we can get centered on this thing. It's easier with two people, but uh, my wife's doing something else, so we're going to give it a go just by ourselves. Uh, but it is a lot of just kind of back and forth t tinkering around with getting everything lined up good. So uh, I think our, our back here is lined up pretty well. Uh, and then our front is lined up pretty well too. So... We're gonna hook this up, start the tractor up, and then we'll um, we'll lift the uh, hydraulics up and or the outriggers up and and back this thing up to it. The other thing that I do is I put the bucket down because uh, you can mess with the down riggers, but you can see when you're in the seat how high up or down you need to go. So I just raise the, the tractor up a little bit with the, with, the, with, the, with the bucket, and then you can get that front forks to line up the, 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 the rail with the, uh, the bracket. You can get those to line up so you just slide in there, and that's what we did. So 
Uh, I'm sure this is only the second time I've done it, so I'm sure it gets easier with practice, but uh, that's basically basically that's how you how you take the uh, the backhoe off the coyote. This is a 3510 uh, coyote tractor, so if, if you got one and you're curious how to do it, that's how you that's how you get it done. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.